in the wrong space today. Yes, you are, Turtle. Welcome. Hello. Okay. Let me just move my chair. Hold on a second.
Okay, that feels better. Oh, my mic was a little bit too far from my face. Because I sit on a um, lazy boy. Oh, I am loving this game. It is brilliant. It's a little bit tough. It's not my normal type of game. But I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It, uh, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's fun. So let's let's get into this. That intro is just a little bit loud. My, my voice can't compete with the storm in the beginning. Uh, and I keep forgetting to press X to pin my evidence. There's a lot of things to to remember to do, but it's it's interesting. It's tagged as no man's sky. Oh dear. No, 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 no. It shouldn't be. So let me let me fix that quickly. Thank you, Floristic. Let me quickly get into my dashboard. Dear producer. Um, I always forget to fix the, the tags. Okay, I think that's fixed. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll 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 add some uh, new tags afterwards. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so yesterday we were looking for Barnaby. So after I switched the game off, <laughs> I realized I never spoke to the people again after I asked, well, after I found the shop. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Good morning. Okay, so the shop was here. Ooh, there's something else here too. Oh. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Yeah, I'd say. Damn, he at it again. Barnaby oh. still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Yeah, I'm glad I came back here. Oh, sorry, dude. Speak to these guys. Can I ask you a question? I'm bone tired, but. Yeah, I'll help you. Ah, finally. So... Two gentlemen say that Barnaby owes them money. He's, knows, and he's a known alcoholic and currently getting drunk at a local bar called the Giddy Gator. In the Creole Gator. Water. There. <laughs> he can be recognized by a yellow hat and a green jacket. Ew. See, I knew he was one of the at one of the pubs. I just had a feeling. So I wasn't wrong. Okay, so he is at the kitty gator. So now we can go back there. Maybe now we can speak to that guy. Okay, let's just see. What have I got? And same thing. Okay. Is, speak to you? is this familiar to you? What makes you think I can be of any help? Okay, he doesn't know. Okay, I can yeah. still not go inside. But that guy inside is. Ooh, okay, this is new. Okay. Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes open. Well, hello, hello, hello. Look, Watson. The two of you are just alike. Nothing alike, man. Oh, Blind. great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. I would not um, make that 
Mr. Barnaby. Oh, this is the invitation to the... Oh, this is what we're looking for. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, uh -huh. we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Okay. Poems. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked yes. in Switzerland, we... didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Okay, so now I am Watson. Let's go to the bank then. Where's my cash, Frank? In the bartender's tip jar? Well, clearly he is, um... Scumbag. Where's the money, Barnaby? I'll wait here so as not to arouse everybody suspicion. Everybody money. And Mr. Barnaby. Uh, right you are. Shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Uh, come on in. I'm surprised that worked. Watson is not a very good actor. Oh, let's see what we can see. Heavens, oh, I've never seen Jim so big. I simply must have them. Excuse me, just one question. I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Those are huge gems. Could you help me? It isn't possible for me to help you. I'm sorry. Okay. Could you help me? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. I can't ask anybody anything. No. They're so black, it's like they absorb light. Rather hypnotic. Birdie. Forty carats, rarest stone. Why does the reading? Believed to be a piece of a shattered space rock that fell to earth. earth. That's what that is. That is another this thing. might be useful. I'll make a note. Apparently, okay. Banking house of E. W. Gray. I'm attached to Lord Atkinson. Atkinson. He was an R or an A, wasn't he? So it's either these two. I don't see anything with an R. Anyone. What could be R. Carter? It's definitely an A and an R that was, um, no pass. It's a heart power. Where do we go now? Morning, sir, and Hello. welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, hey, Frank Barnaby. See? I do have some questions, if you don't mind. Um, what's special for this? These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Okay. So we can ask both at Forgive least. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. Ooh, it doesn't say where these stones came from. Questions. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never... I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't Shit. think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Oh, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity. Ha. <laughs> What have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? 
What's wrong, Frank? You're Sarah. looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Yeah, we're in a little bit of poop here. Uh, there was something. Large wool hat, oversized. You have a big head, mister. Sheriff or a position of... Golden Revolver Champion, proud or a poser? I think it's about all he's got going for him. Seems like a sleaze ball. Luxurious textile case for appearance. Polished nails. Oh, nail. Okay, Sheriff Grub is a law new leans. He is fairly eccentric, looking after his nails, appearance, and image. However, it's just a cover for his true nature as a remorseless and highly powerful individual in the local community who uses his image to distract and disguise his true nature. Yeah, he he, he seems like a complete please. Yeah. Sorry, Sheriff, but I don't have time for this. Now, Frank, oh, wow. when I'm talking to you, everything else waits. If I want to talk, you talk. If I say jump, you say off which pier. Do we understand each other? Y yes, sir. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding Eat fines. Sleep. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? Mm -hmm. I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud, impersonation, that's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels round these parts. Feed them yeah. to the gators. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's mm. all I have. Bribery? Mighty yeah. fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. But you knew all along. Him sleaze ball. I knew it was sleaze ball. Okay, so now what? Could you help me? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Okay, so we are not gonna go to the auction. Oh, that would be so. And. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah. All that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. Bit upset. Oh, so we still him. Hey, Wes, how are you doing? How has your day been? Mr. Sure, dude. No, no. Was that your luggage again? I don't understand. We just got it oh. back in order. Really? 
duck was overboard. No. You know, I think the look actually compliments you. Why bother changing it? <laughs> no, it's freaking awful. Um. A pox on the crew. Pox? Oh dear. Um. What the heck? Keep waiting to do that. Oh, I can't change him. Maybe now I can do this. A pox on the crew. Maybe now I can speak. It to was him. like the luggage had legs of its own. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to have your head. Too. He's very scantily dressed for that time of um, that time period. Hmm, meeting the sheriff. That is the boat. I can't get into the. I wonder which boat it is. Maybe this point? Oh, she's not standing in front of the door anymore. Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. Welcome home. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. well, I guess this is one boat. Mm, is it going anywhere? Help me, please. I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Could you help me? That's not something I know, sir. Someone else might know more. I wonder which boat it is. Definitely not this one. May I ask you something? Interesting. But I've never heard of it. I don't think it's a boat in the swan. So, let's see if one of these. This is not open. Hmm. That's the only other place I can think of to go. There's definitely there's only that with um thing on the top an icon who's the jewel cemetery Two. Almost there. Just don't know which. Wait, we, I, I did pin it, right? Yes, it is pinned. 
maybe if I go to the boat and change, I can change clothes here. Maybe if I go back to the boat and try and change clothes. Is that right? So I, I don't think it would be the boat in the swamp, because it, I mean that's not the boat we're going to leave with tomorrow. Now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the okay. sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, Miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. <laughs> but where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, Miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think <laughs> one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Oh, <laughs> you've got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Ugh, go annoy someone else while I visit the Nymph. I think six was upstairs, wasn't it? Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Hmm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village, behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. It is, but some new information. And a new place to go. Oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve out. Did you get bored halfway through? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, okay. So now we're back to being uh, Sherlock again. Well, I am good, thank you, Wes. I have actually had a very great day. So. How was your day, Ben? Okay, so we're definitely going to the real water. What I can do is uh, just. She wants water. You can teleport there. Awesome. Now we need to find. Okay, let me just put in the evidence. In the evidence. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Okay, people have said that Champagne lives in the fisherman's quarter in a hut on a boat. She owns two dogs. Ready? Well, that's the only boat house. I guess that's it. Oh, I remember the. This isn't where we saw the dogs. Oh, hello. Tocqueville? Lafayette! Hush now! No offense here. Them two don't take kindly to gents. Especially foreigners. How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it you know everything that goes on round these parts. Maybe. Maybe not. What you want to know? 
The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Sheer. I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time, you pay. Thank you. May have been... one, two weeks ago? Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. That's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you-know-what. Thank you for the offer, and the help. Okay. So, people said... The way do we need to... Okay, let's see. I think we've got enough evidence, maybe. Uh, imitation thing. Is this a blue or a green? It's definitely a green. Purple oh, gray. Nice. It's most likely the jeweler seller who sent out as L. E. Arneson from the French. And we go to the French Quarter. But the French Quarter is not here. I know there was a buggy that we could take here. Okay. Let's go there. Because maybe now I can uh, speak to the this buggy driver. Because so one of them asked us where did we want to go. Oh, there's a yeah. Okay. Are we sure? Yeah, we basically did everything here. So French Quarter and get us there fast. Achievement unlocked. The new nice. Oh, this is pretty. Beautiful. You know, Watson. The opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. Yeah, I thought I might... No, 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 no. Yeah, maybe talk to him? <laughs> Where is he not? I'll go in there. Oh, that's a beautiful gate. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a room thing. Okay, don't see many people. Okay. Can I speak to you? Nope. Do you have the evidence printed? No, I do not. One. Dang it. Help me, please. I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. Locals say that Mr. Arneson's mansion is a lot large gate adorned with bisons. Alrighty, let's look for a bison gate. Uh my way. Not this one. I wonder if that pretty gate had bison on. I can't remember seeing bison there. It definitely does not have bison on it. No, does that one? I think it's. Yep, there we go. Lord, help me. Well, I'm not the Lord, but, um. Maybe I'm Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? 
Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's, he's pure and kind. Fear not, we will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. Okay, another missing person. Unfortunately, we know what happened to him. Okay, so we need to go find a door. Let's uh, there is one. Let's see, we've got something. Nothing, Nothing yet. Okay, she said by the stables. Oh. Oil traces, oil. I rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river. Often Along with all our clothes, books, tea. Steel, sturdy, intact. Okay. Bogged down here yeah, for a long time. Oh, so this is where they kept the key. I presume. Under this. And the horsey. Oh, there's more. Strong lock from the inside. Oh, there's a uh, broken stems, chipped edge. Ah, found a key. This must be the key to the stables. Night. Nice. Cool. That was easy. For a change. Hey, okay, let's see. There's a horse here. Poor animal has been suffering for days. It's dehydrated, Holmes. Without water, it will die. Okay. Cayenne yeah. pepper. Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. <laughs> Let's see if there's any... Candle? That's a, that's a very dangerous place to have a candle. Mr. Arneson's cab is still here. So there's definitely nothing else. Wooden, sh wooden shearer. Size 10, the owner's footprints were shallow. <laughs> Size
size 10. The heels are sinking into the ground. Look here, Doctor. Two sets of footprints left by the same person, yet they vary in depth. What do you conclude? Hmm. Perhaps they arrived empty-handed, but left carrying something heavy. Precisely. We'll make a detective of you yet, Watson. There's blood here. Dude, you Ah! Do you smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. I know. Be prepared for anything. Okay, so I stand dried up with dried up mud with peat. Um, this is well and dust. A few drops blood of blood, droplets. but not from a mortal wound. Okay, and there's something on the desk. Letter from the locksmith, Mr. Onison. I'm happy to know. That you like the work carried out in your study room. It was challenged and most difficult job of done. The lock was handmade to create a mechanism and in accordance with your requirements. I added a magnet man, magnetic bezel that must be activated to open the lock. As requested, it is hard to see the keyhole if you don't know where to look. Tell your friends about me. Thank you. JG Lock. Okay. We've got a complicated lock to um, pick. Ooh, there's a brother. Oh no. Watson, would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. Okay. I don't think this is a brother. A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. Okay, so there's four pieces of evidence here. The hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. His corneas are already clouded. K on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object piercing his heart. You are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. Heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. Okay. So that might be the girl outside's brother or four. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. I've intercepted a strange telegram sent to Ashmat. It is utterly cryptic and I cannot make head nor tails of it. The mailman confirmed the telegram was definitely for Ashmat, so he must not know what it means. The rest of the note is unreadable. Burnt papers. Now completely unreadable. Okay, there's some stuff here to see. Circular scratch marks and wax marks. Okay, so the candle missing. We did it with the candle in the, the drawing room, I guess. Stick. The candle was burning when it fell. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. A trail of wax leads to the door. Mm. So someone was spooked, walked with a candle, and uh. 
the dead. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it. Okay, so we have a few scenes here. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, not that one. I mean, this one. Uh, I don't think he was reading. Mm. There must be more evidence. I don't think that is quite it. Well, it was definitely not with an axe. Because that be a straight to, to, to his heart, so it must have been longer than three inches. It's definitely not an axe. No, definitely not that one. And this one. Yeah, I still don't think it's an axe. So. Never know. We, you. So in here then. Oh, the horse symbol, what is luck? Two water pile items acquired. Yeah. This is big brain time. Let's see. Oh, we can win this. Nikki, how are you doing? So we can actually do the... There's a couple of uh, things we can do here. Maybe let's let's do the horse first and get that some water. What happened to Davy? I don't think we've got enough evidence. Dying horse. Backyard. Mansion. Crime scene. Backyard. I think it's a dying horse. No? Okay, so we do not have enough evidence. How to learn content from the burnt message. I think it might be in there. Um, none of those? So, which one have we got? In? Yeah, we've we've got the horse pond. So maybe let's go let's go see if we can water the horse. Give the horse some water. Um, with that unlocked something. This might be useful. I thought we would give it water. I wasn't sure. Okay. At least that's one life saved. I can say. There we go, pussy. Okay. 
now we can um, backyard has two trails with size 10 footprints the one in the direction of the mansion left barely any marks okay and let's go on this one so now we need to go find a locksmith Let's see if we can go through the front door if that is the or was that a front no that wasn't the front door that we went into. Hmm. No, no way in. Oh what's in here? Luke. Mom duties. Oh no worries. Thank you for the Luke. Appreciate it. You did it. You're inside? Have you seen Davy? Not yet, miss. Please, we'll Lord, protect my brother. Please, look for my little brother. Hopefully he's... Uh, that wasn't him on the floor. But dead. That is. Oh, where am I going? I need to go find the locksmith, and I don't think I'm going to find him in here. <laughs> we go outside. Could you help me? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Okay. Sounds like a yang. Who sounds like a yang? Is this familiar to you? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. <laughs> Excuse me, just one question. Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better, sir. <laughs> there's a, oh, wait, there's... When did winter begin? Huh. Where am I at the moment? I think I'm over here. Let's go back there. I didn't go down that thing there. I didn't even see that. Let's go back. Uh, let me let me ask her if she knows. Sir, something bad's happened. I can feel it. Okay, no, she doesn't. So this is not the next evidence we need to follow. Oh. Okay, so let's just open this uh, near the fireplace. This one, let's open that. She from America. Yeah, we we are in um, New Orleans at the moment. New Orleans. Oh, they 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 they. they. More boot prints. Okay, let's follow the boot prints. No. More boot prints. More boot prints. Root almost ripped out. Okay. Left. Ooh, are those fingers? These fingers were severed with a single clean stroke, but I don't see the thumb or middle finger. Okay. Slight indent palm print. Ooh, someone fell and uh, got his fingers chopped off. Luxurious shoes, size nine. Okay. Look, Watson. Animal oh. prints. 
wonder what kind. Some are, some are other animal put the fingers thing. Boots, size 10. Okay, so that's the same as inside the house then. Yeah, this person definitely chopped that person's fingers off. That's for sure. Okay, let's uh, follow the trail of blood. Yes. That almost looked like a body. Someone got fed to the gators. Ooh, and there's a there's a gator right there. A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. Okay, blood loss, la larger wound, waited a while. Okay. There's something else here, here we go. No sign of a boat. Yeah. We have enough evidence for okay. what horrors happened here? see a scene thing a scrap of silk soft and elegant so that one is done You've been there for Mardi Gras? Oh, I so badly want to go there when it's Mardi Gras. That's, that's all, like one of the things on my list. I still want to go do... I have a long list. Let's see if there's anything here. scene must definitely be in the house so we definitely need to go find uh, the, the locksmith yeah this is definitely where we need to go next I don't think we have enough evidence for this do that one. So oh, hold on. Did we pin the right message now? Yes. Okay, so I probably need to go back to... Okay, so that one is done. But I need to go find a locksmith. Maybe I'll go down that road and see if there's anybody I can ask for help there before I go... anywhere else because I don't think I could go anywhere else. 
So everything has to be here. So the, the locksmith definitely should be somewhere. Yes. In February. Huh? Yeah, last year I, I came back in February. I mean, last time I was. Last year. Last time I was in the US. I came back in February. And now it's a broom. <laughs> That's not just a hot room. Hello. Can I speak with you? I need a locksmith. Could you help me? Don't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better, sir. Okay. I don't think any. I don't see any other someone's. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Got a spot in mind? Actually, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so we can't leave. Can I ask you a question? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. May I ask you something? You it isn't possible for me to help you. I'm sorry. I want to slap them all, right? Ah, we... ah. I don't want to answer my question. Yeah, there is literally nobody else here. Do you know anything about this? I'm so sorry, I can't be of help. Can you? Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Okay, they be useless. <laughs> Um, okay, so the answer must be inside somewhere. All I can think. And it has got to be in here somewhere. I will need your help one more time, Doctor. Sounds up. Let's contaminate the crime scene, why don't you? She was also stabbed with An the... enormous blow shattered her ribcage. Take the noy beep. Well, I don't think it's this one. Extremely sharp and deadly. Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. And cruelty. Hmm. Makes me think it's the sheriff. Two people having tea. And I was making that boy. Hey, okay, so the guy in the... The other room was sitting here having tea. used kitchen towel. 
made a mess. T for two. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. So familiar. Paintings. Because that's the place that we were in, wasn't it? Looks like that creepy place that we were in. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we've got a lot of evidence. Uh, no, I don't think that's what happened. I think he used the same weapon. I think there's something missing there. To use the candle stick. It's on the floor there. Let's see this one. Uh, I don't think it was the perpetrator that had the candle. Yeah, I think it was the boy that had the candle. So what's the other option here? <laughs> Was Jake in a pig? No, I don't think so. Definitely dragging somebody. We are still missing some evidence. Yeah, this is big brand time. Mel mustard in the library with the candlestick. This upstairs, hello. Um. Okay. 
letter from La My dear friend, the boy is a genius. Despite seeing a fraction of my formula, he recreated it and solved it. It is a function that young students have serious trouble with. Your Davy is a prodigy. What surprises me even more is that when I ask him any question, the boy writes answers that are your direct quotes or mine. His memory is impeccable. I know you took the boy under your wing to take care of him, but I'm asking you to let me hold some lessons with him. I truly believe that with your help this boy can shine and change the world. Nice, he's a genius. And what kind of book is this? A dull book about local geology. Even I'd struggle. Okay. The scene is done. The dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson. So it's... I'm not sure who's... Lying downstairs. Maybe that's the stable hand. That got dead. What I wouldn't give for a nice bath right now, Holmes. Oh, the sounds a bit iffy there. in this room. Okay. A beautiful mural. They do like nothing there. Okay, let's see. Arneson and Davy, eighteen eighty one. Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. He looks more like a son than a servant. Yeah, I can't imagine this Arneson person being a, a jerk. Actually. Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. Yeah, probably. New Pied Piper. Foreigners missing in New Orleans. I do want you to find what you are looking for, but I can't deny that my misgivings are growing with each passing day. I fear the worst. I am worried about you, about what you are doing. My heart stops when I think about where you look for your answers. I would have given them to you. I would have given anything so you might stop disappearing. Errol, please, you must stop. We have something beautiful together. Isn't that enough? I hope to hear from you soon. I love you. Al. Mysterious uh, love letter. Alrighty, so we've got uh, more evidence. We need one, two, three, four. We still need five things. Okay. Note the blade, Watson. Mm. A curved dagger, probably of Persian or Indian origin. 
Nine or ten inches, I'd say. Okay, so that must be the weapon then. Like I said, now we what now we should have all the uh that's the weapon we were looking for. Okay, now we can put everything together. Awesome. See, I knew there was a, another weapon. Let's recreate this one. Still the same. Let's change this one. I don't think he was holding the candle. Where's the other one just for curiosity sake? No. Yeah, I think that was what happened there. That one I'm okay with. Yeah, I'm agree with that one. Mm, let's see. I think this one is gonna change. Changing the wrong one. Hmm. And it. <gasps> uh, no. Yeah. Oh. I don't think he used. Is it not getting me? Shouldn't you? This one might be wrong. I think this one might be good. Oh, no, I noticed what I'm right doing. I don't have the right thing, and. I do think we Whatever new evidence we need is gonna go in there. But maybe I still do not know. Oh, he could be away. I 
I don't think it's any of these. I just want to rule them out. Oh wow, it just took everything out. This one animal. So I can pin that and maybe look at that book and where was that book? I'll figure out which uh, animal that was. Let's see where was that book? It wasn't in here. No? Uh, it was upstairs, I think. A dull book about local geology. That's Even I'd struggle. It was on the desk. It was in the office. Pied Piper, foreigners missing in New Orleans. I did no, he wasn't here then. Where the heck did we pick up that book? So now we know it's a small Roman dog, whatever. Mansion crime scene. Oh, now we can search the park. Okay, I think it's a mammal. Mm. How is it even to ungulate? Maybe a rodent? Uh, then... What is that? Wing? So... Yeah. It's a raccoon. We are still no closer to solving the scene. This place sets my teeth on edge, Holmes. Because normally, once I'm done. Gives me an option to press X. Oh, 
Oh, there's another scene. Hold on. Didn't see that. Here we go. Let's see what's the other option. Now I think that we're having tea together. I think this is Oh, we just one as well. Nice. Was this one? I don't think he was dragging the big out. An intruder entered through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace and out into the garden. Okay, so on a silver body fingers chopped. In one of the doors, he's behind one of them. And the painting lock is opened, and where is our nice mm. I don't think it's any of these two. Oh no. So let's speak with um, with him behind the door. Davy, please open the door. After all this, Holmes, I doubt the young man would open the door to a stranger. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we can look at his sister. Look at the sister.
Dang it. Ligature marks on her neck. There'll be a bruise, but she should be okay. I think for this. The heck are you thinking, woman? You think that in the city life one English detective is more than that of a maid servant? Final warning, Mr. Holmes. Grab. Oh, wow. Doctor? Watson, speak to me. How is she? We were just in time, Holmes. Eula is stable, but lucky to be alive. We should take her to a hospital for a further examination. Yes. I fear I was wrong, Watson. The sheriff is not a man to be underestimated. To lynch an innocent woman just to send a message, it's evil. We're not safe in this city, nor is anyone around us. Then we must not dawdle. Help me get Eula to her feet. No, no. I will not leave here without Davy. Miss, please, we oh, must get you help. <laughs> no, I will not be deterred. I will get my brother and bring him home. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Let's go get your bro. If my deductions are correct, Davy lies behind this door. He ought to be unhurt, but is no doubt shaken. Davy? Davy, you there? Davy? We understand what you witnessed before. It's safe now. You're safe. Please, let us in. Your sister wants to see you. Everything will be all right, I promise. Yeah, them gentlemen speak the truth. Just, just open the door. Big sister's here for you. Davy, oh, come here, you. Thanks, sirs. Lord bless your souls. Let me examine him, miss. I want to make sure he is unharmed. Remember, he may be mute, but he still understands you. Okay. Sir? Make sure he's okay. Crying. He hasn't slept for days. Oh. Alarmed and agitated, shallow breathing. Healing bruise, days old, it's insignificant. Where you wake up burnt. Starving and in shock. Something in your pocket. Torn pocket, old clothes. Or active, okay. Baby has been left malnourished and starving for the last five days, barricaded, barricaded inside his room in fear for his life. Fortunately, he is physically unharmed. However, Davy hadn't been treated well before the terrible events that led to Honestan's disappearance. A bruise on his hand as a result of being hit. Davy was given only old torn clothes to uh, Yeah, he was mistreated, that's for sure. I cannot find any cuts or wounds, but the bruise suggests life here was tough for the boy. I'm not surprised he hid. You must understand, Holmes, he is still young. No, Watson, you've misunderstood. The boy's stronger than you think, and Arneson certainly didn't mistreat him. Don't mind him, Davy. Just tell me this. One of the photographs upstairs in the office shows Mr. Arneson with a man holding a curved dagger. He is the one behind it, all right? Good. Please, write his name. And one last thing. The room with an image of a bell on its door may hold important answers. Do you know a way in? Well, I still think hmm. it was Miss Pete. Yes, opinion. that will do. Thank you, Ron. Sterling sure. job, Davy. Ashmont. Hey. Okay. Oh, Davy. Things you must have gone through. There's definitely nothing in here. What 
the stairs. Two keys make one. Okay. So we're looking for two keys. I did see, uh, those are scissors. Study room in the first floor has an interesting painting. Um, isn't anything here, is there? We got everything. But uh, what two keys? Not seen any two keys. Let's take a closer look. Peculiar pretty part of pattern. Eighteen seventy nine. Oh hello. Oh what the hell would this be? Oh which numbers? Nineteen? What did what did oh, one? What did it say? Eight one eight seven nine. I said 19, damn it. seen any any numbers anywhere else. Oh. The only other numbers I've ever seen was on this photograph. 
1881, not for that. Davy is calm and collected despite enduring all these horrors. An impressive young man. Yeah, that says 1879. Oh, maybe I had it wrong. Did I write it in the wrong order? 1879. Yeah, ready. Well, um, I have no idea. I was hoping that was wrong. Um.
Okay, so we need to go find the signet ring. Area is brushed with paper. Name capital. Fingers. Nice. Arneson's signet ring, as we saw in his portrait. So now we can open that lizard thing. Lizard wall. Oh wow. You were snooping. It must be L. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh. Hello again, Lucy. Interesting. Letter from Northwood Agency. As soon as your instructions arrive, we started our investigation. Rest assured, we will do our best to find the location in the bayou that you mentioned. However, we must inform you that there might be some delays in the coming weeks as our investigator, the lead detective in this case, is in Europe. He did, man. Meanwhile, we highly recommend securing your findings until further notice. Beneath a table in a safe or locked cabin, anything will work. It's like I like how they say, and beneath a table in a safe. <laughs> very, very uh, um, specific place. Dearest Lucy, my sunshine, believe me, as soon as I have dealt with the darkness that lurks in the swamps, I'll return to you with an open heart. Be sure that I'm ready to declare to all the world my feelings for you. Can't wait to hold your hand and be lost in your beautiful eyes. Completely and forever yours, Carol. Let me see love. Okay. 
Go to the base. Bank on Ashmet. Mr. Onison has a collection of notes detailing his investigation of Ashmet. One of them reads that damn servant, how dare you use my name to sell opals at the bank? Was he like that all the time and I overlooked it? Was it the influence of his foreign friends? I need to learn more about the man, especially after I showed Davy that cryptic telegram sent to Ashmet. What is it for? Oh, Davy might have cracked the telegram. Is a wing? My princess, my love, my heart. Fitting words. Oh, he's so in love. What else? Oh, this is the knife that was missing. No, I think it it must be this knife that is missing. Or oh, maybe that's the sheath. Oh uh, no. Oh. Oh, a bottle of champagne, so we can bribe champagne. <laughs> it's almost a piece of art. It is beautiful. Is anything else here? Nothing special. Okay, definitely got some evidence. That one is definitely right. And which one was this? So let's uh, speak to Davy about that evidence. Davy, we know that Ashmat is responsible for what happened here. We must catch him and hold him accountable. I know that you are scared, but you are also the only one who can help us. I believe Mr. Arneson showed you a cryptic telegram that was sent to Ashmat. You are an impressive boy with a phenomenal memory. Can you tell us the contents of that message? Thank you, Davy. Watson, please copy down everything he writes. message directed to Ashmat. It says, when the storm starts, with the ships fall at Stevenson's guiding light, the last embrace all the last embrace of all the chosen. That's weird. Very cryptic indeed.
Oh, I can finally dress him. No. no. Like a sailor. Brute. Kind of like this outfit. But without the jacket, I think he might be a hot. In New Orleans, got a sailor's cap. Mm. Oh, Watson's got new clothes too. Well, let's give him back his clothes. Let's make him come. Awesome. Oh, hello, welcome back. I'm almost done for today. Just dressing my characters a little bit. Something more comfy. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done here. We need to go speak to Miss Champagne about that um, place in the swamps. But the that is going to happen tomorrow. Because I'm not sure when the load chaining is happen happening. It's going to be right now or in two hours time. You got something for your co-worker's birthday? Ooh. Well, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure it's going to be fun. But um, yeah, that, that, that is going to be me for today. For today's episode, I will definitely be carrying on with this tomorrow. This is getting interesting. So, thank you very much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. You guys want to have an absolutely wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. And hopefully, you'll join me this evening. Emotional damage! With some Kone. But, uh, yeah, until then, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, thank you for the redeem. It was emotional damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, um, thank you. And, uh, bye. Thank you.